from two more weeks. Two more, four more days. Yeah, we're, gonna take, we're gonna take a break during Easter, obviously. Yeah, of course. But yeah, I just I just heard a lot of people laughing. I don't know why, so I got caught off guard there. But yeah. we're gonna be in the draft here. It's gonna be Claude and Grok being the uh, primary bands here for Execration. Nothing, and no nothing surprising from the bands itself. We might see. Harry is like one of the heroes that still that keeps getting through these games. Kaja is gonna be the next ban, so unless No Limit take out that Harris, uh, Execration will surely take it for themselves. Yeah, um, it might be possible that they're gonna target Zapnu here, but of course Kimmy is still is still one of the bigger problems. Yeah, Kimmy is also up there in terms of bans across the heroes. Harris as well. You don't want to give Harris too. But I feel that Harris gets through a lot more than Kimmy gets through. Yeah, because Kimmy has a lot of damage output and can really uh, no, dish out a lot of damage. Harith, but Kimmy so, is going to okay. be picked up here as by Execration. The thing uh, about Ka Kimmy is that she takes a bit longer to get online than other marksmen. But you know, when she gets online, does she hurt? Well, yeah, he she does hurt. She's currently sitting at a 54% win rate. Uh, the, uh, on the entire time, all the entire time mm -hmm. that she's been picked up. Now, it's uh, going to be quite possible that No Limits is going to go for counters here on Takimi because they need to close down on Kimmy. This Chopik might be really nice as well as a Minotaur would be good, but they need to secure okay. another damage Ooh. source, and that is going to be the carry here. It's going to be a very, really carry, but that's okay. Just get your marksman right away. Plus, like you said, Cho is a good closer for that Kimmy, especially if you get the good way of the dragon knocked back. That Kimmy is just dead. Now, Execration here, they're going to have to circle, uh, just rely on Kimmy. So their entire uh, their entire composition has to be protect carry, uh, no, Kimmy at all costs. Mm -hmm. uh, we can expect a Minotaur, we can expect a Diggy being picked up. Um, we could also expect a Belric being picked up, but a Liam Ward is going to be uh, it's gonna be a good okay, pick. Okay, it's a mm -hmm. uh, In terms of just adding, just adding, just that added value yep. of damage there for Kimmy. Now, KillVJ will have to go for the Minotaur. He has to pick up the Minotaur there. Yeah, they need a hard CC. Mm -hmm. Definitely up there because... Ooh, they're going to go with the Thamos instead because I oh. don't really like Akai these days. Akai feels kind of underwhelming unless the player is just really going to wow everyone with that Akai. Yeah, and there are a lot of win conditions uh, once you're an Akai player. You have to make sure that the Talzin Pounder and the Hurricane Dance connects. Mm -hmm. And just Something a different story altogether. It's just a 1500 gold lead for Execration, but yeah, you, you did call it. The power spikes are a lot earlier for Execration, so. No limit, they have to play these next couple of minutes tightly. Yeah, they need to uh, at least let Carry go online. That's one of their win conditions here. Carry goes online around at around the 8 minute, 9 minute mark, and that's going to be a big thing. But while that's happening, they are actually securing objectives. It's going to be a turn trade actually in the top lane. Execration also secured. The uh, turret there. Oh, Lord, they have to be careful. You're alone here. You're just tank with no damage. Yeah, but they're they're gonna ignore him. They have a bigger fish to fry in the mid lane with Puck Bet on that. Kim oh, MM is going aggressive there. Goes for the Jeet. Goes for the Flaker. Oh. Gets the knock up, but does not actually M -M. get that. That hurricane Oh, I don't know if you want the three though. And then the three Mammino Fury is not gonna be uh, much in. That's not going to be a huge factor because the Antimax and Zopta is finally here. The silences are coming in left and right, and that's going to be JP on his own. This might be a complete team wipe, oh, and yes, it is. And right in front of the turtle, too. So easy, yeah. easy turtle take for Execration, but no limit. MM, he's just way too excited in these days, man. Man, he thought he had it, but he did not consider that Akai was there with the Hurricane Dance, and he got pinned, and this is why... Uh, focusing on letting Kimmy survive, it's all on Akai and it's all on Lard. And the thing is, Execration, they're not really the ones making these plays, they're just reacting. It's no limit. MM with the two straight dives as well, and Reflesha followed up with a good three-man Minoan Fury, but... Where's the follow-up, my friends? Where is the follow-up? It's just not there. No limit, they're just crumbling against Execration. Yeah, JP wasn't showing up. It isn't... You wouldn't expect JP to show up just yet. Yeah, you're expecting to show up somewhere in the late Ooh. game, and these easy kills are just really. Yeah, they're just getting picked apart. I mean, this is the this is the win condition. Execration wants to go for the early pickoffs and try to put No Limit behind as much as they can, and No Limit is just offering themselves on the on a silver platter. Yeah, definitely. Free, 
free free gold for execration and top lane Leomon has just been farming as well as carry but as you said that carry still so so far away from being able to carry his team and blade of despair now up on Zapnu so just the win condition for no limit just keeps getting smaller and smaller yeah the window of opportunity Ooh, is nice. does cancel up. that recoil though so nice little play subtle as it can be but I don't know. No limit is honestly in the back, on the back foot here. Definitely, eight thousand gold behind, and with turtle most likely. I mean, the next big objective gonna go in the hands of execration. No limit. Even if they try to contest, it's gonna be a very, very hard. They need that perfect five man Minoa and Fury or something. Yeah, yeah. But if they go for the five man Minoa and Fury, what follows? Uh, Sky is, it hasn't been showing up. Zapnu goes for the Dark Knight Falls, and this is going to be a Hurricane Dance on to Flesh as well. There goes the Nature Shield, but there's no follow-ups here. Pak Ben is going to be able to wipe out House, gets the two kills for himself. And Execration, they're just getting anything they want on this map. Yes, you have that good initiation on the show and the Minotaur, but it's just lacking. There's no oomph in No Limits Attack. Really, no oomph is actually an understatement. They have nothing. They have nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm sorry, but this is how No Limit is playing. Execration just completely outdraft them. And Comfort Heroes as well on the side of Execration. They just gave it away. Relatively speaking, yes, they are Comfort Heroes here for Execration. And it's just gonna be a matter of time before we see the push coming in. And Execration, mind you, they are doing all of this without their Liam or... Yeah. I mean, you can just rely on Kimmy as much as you can. You just have to make sure that Kimmy survives. And that's where Lard comes in. Pop the Nature Shield. And then the end. Hurricane Dance, anybody that's attempting to even go close. Yeah, and the end has been on point with his initiations. Complete opposite of what we are seeing from MM and Aflacia. Um, man, it's this painful to watch, my friend. <laughs> it is, and I'm actually running out of things to say here because it's really it's just it's just a stomp, my friend. Ooh, there wait. goes the hurricane dance once again on to Reflesha. No CCs here. Nature Shield is gonna be popped, and they cannot touch back bed at all. Getting a maniac. Will he get the savage? Oof. That is gonna be the case. The yeah, savage is gonna it. go for him, but he's gonna be taken out as well. Well worth it though. All well for it. the savage, but well that's worth it. You know, a pro game savage. You're, you're gonna remember that. You're gonna feel good about it, especially coming into the next game. And that is that has to be the game. That there. is basically is gonna the game. be up. Yeah, but does have the minimum fury, but it's not gonna be he's charging it. But it's not even gonna make it. He's not. He wanted to try and defend, but it was all for naught. Execration played this beautifully. Yeah, that was a clear game one from Execration. No limit really struggled there. They had the right uh, lineup. They had the right lineup going up for them, but it wasn't enough at all. It's all about their game style. They were out aggression. They were just out. The, the, the rotations around the map were just yeah, all execration.